Hello, uh, so it's been a bit a long time since I'll, I showed the uh, video regarding the Z80 processor. This is the first version and this is the second version uh, which I made around uh, two years ago. When I see this PCB, I think it's a pretty major, it's not a major. And uh, after two years, I have a lot of, I get a lot of experience, for example, this is a high resolution DAC uh, embedded new, new tube amplifier with voltage booster and by utilizing this knowledge and experience now I totally redesign the PCV board uh, circuit board as you see and basically the function is same as previous version it has a PS2 for the keyboard and the video out, NTSC video out, and applying just a 5 volt, it will run the tiny basic as a fa uh, initial firmware. Now let's see how it works. Now it's connecting the 5 volt and the PS2 connector, PS2 keyboard, and just the video out, and here is a tiny monitor. Now let's see how it works, for example. Then. O, I, goes to 1, 2, 100, or something, 20, print, I, 30, uh, I equals to I plus 1, and 30, oops, 40, next, I, and let's see the list. Uh, 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 it should work. And let's see. Yeah, it's working. As you see, the current firmware is just a parallel to tiny basic, but if we can program, uh, I hope it can run a CPM or another operational system. Indeed, this Z80 is very capable because it has a Z80 core with SIO. Serial I.O. and a P.I.O. Parallel I.O. and a C.T.C. and a C.G.C. A clock generator and a watchdog and everything except for the Islam and the ROM is embedded inside this square chip. And each of the function has a pinout at the edge of the board and we can utilize as we wish. Have fun!